Hey, what's up guys? It's Roy here. So today I have my Samsung Galaxy S23 here and I got the Rinky Fusion uh, clear case here. It's going to run you around 13, 14 bucks on Amazon with prime shipping. Uh, it's a clear case, as you can see, and it is in their eco uh, friendly packaging as well. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy put on. Now, Rinky was kind enough to send this out for review. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy out. So there we go. As you can see, it is very crystal clear. Uh, there's some stuff inside here, protective film removal guide, uh, which is pretty dang easy to explain. And then kind of a booklet here about some of their Rinky products that they have. Obviously they make a ton of stuff for Apple and Samsung. And here is the case itself. And as you can tell, it does have that plastic film all over. So the way to get it off is pretty simple. You just peel the tab and then peel the back one as well. And voila, that's all she wrote. So very, very clear as you can see. Uh, has some reinforced bumpers kind of here. You know, you can see that right there. Uh, you'll be able to see a little bit better once we actually have it installed. So let's grab the S23. Let's do the button side first and then just push in and there it goes. So very, very simple right off the bat. Unfortunately, with it being a clear case, uh, it is going to be a smudge magnet. Fingerprints are going to be an issue, but like I said, I mean, just already touching it, you can kind of see the smudges. Uh, it is crystal clear, so that's going to kind of plague this type of case. Uh, they do have a matte finish one that might be a little bit better for you, depending on your cup of tea. But I do really like clear cases, especially with a matte finish back like the S23 has. I do like that the uh, camera cutouts are just as you see there, precise circular cutouts for the actual lenses. Uh, and I apologize for all the reflections of lights and cameras. <laughs> Uh, that's just the downside as well with a clear case, but like I said clearly you can see precise cutouts there for the flash and everything Really like that. You can see the Samsung logo just shining just nicely through there Now on the sides here. We do have some clear buttons as well. Now. They are raised as you can see uh, volume up and down and power button and then there is some rinky branding right there as well. So very, very simple, but it's so clear. Like I said, you can see the 5G stuff. You can see the antenna bands, all that. Uh, and then we go down here to the bottom. We do have a lanyard hole cut out there. And then, like I said, you do have those reinforced corners there. And then moving to the bottom here, you can see that we have a nice, nice, generous cut out there for the actual USB-C charging port and for the speaker grill there. And then there is some branding. I'm trying to see what it says. Hard to read what it says, but there is some sort of writing there, maybe a serial number or something. And then you can see the SIM card injector tray there as well. And then moving down here to the bottom, once again, some more lanyard hole cutouts, very clear side. Once again, no Bixby button or anything on the S23. And then moving to the top, you can see once again, those reinforced corners and also uh, the hole punch there for the microphone and then looking at it from the front you can see that we do have some nice raised lips on the forehead and chin and there are some lips on the sides as well but it's not as prominent as you can see there so but it is nicely raised right there like i said on those corners uh, so if you place it face down on a surface like so uh, you're not gonna run into any issues with hitting that screen and then it is temper glass friendly as well as you can see there. So not too shabby. And then that's kind of the look there where the cutout is up at the top. So that's the look. Slim, as you can see, very, very slim, very lightweight as well. Obviously the S23 is a slim, small phone. So it is nice that the case matches that um, kind of signature design of the S23. So now, let's, so now let's go ahead and do the wobble test here. So putting it face down, there really isn't no shaking going on at all. And then if we put it back down, that's where we start to get some shaking going on a little bit, just really in this corner. If you hit it on the sides, I mean, it's kind of presence that present there, but nothing too crazy, but just a little bit of some shaking. It's not like a wobbly mess. So if you are someone that cares about that, 
it's just a tiny bit. Next, let's go ahead and do the clicky button test. So let's start with that power button first. Very responsive. Tactile as well. Volume up and down. Okay, so very tactile and responsive as well. So if you like clicky buttons, definitely passes the clicky button test. So last but not least, I always like to do a Qi wireless charging test with these devices with the cases on. So let's slap it on right there. And as you can see, instantly recognize that it is on a Qi wireless charger. So you can definitely do Qi wireless charging and you can also do uh, wireless pay like Samsung or Google pay. And you can also do the reverse power share with some earbuds or whatever you want to charge on the back of the device as well. So it's very slim, no interference at all with that. So once again, two thumbs up for that. So all in all guys, with this very slim case from Rinky, I mean, you're gonna get some decent drop protection. Now I don't suggest just going chunking it up in the air, like 30 feet and praying that it just survives. Uh, it's really gonna help with the bumps and bruises. Uh, the case itself feels very grippy. Uh, it's not super, super gummy, but it does have a nice texture to it. So it doesn't feel like it's just gonna slip around in my hand. Uh, the more moisture or uh, hotter it is outside, the grippier I feel these types of cases get. When your hands are cold and dry, they tend to get a little bit more slipperier, slipperier if that's a word, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it, it, it feels good. It's slim, no fingerprint issues, but like I said, smudging can be an issue. But you know, grab a microfiber cloth, wipe it down, you're good to go. So ultimately guys, there we go. For under 14 bucks on Amazon, you cannot beat this case. So hit that like button if you like this video. If you loved it, please subscribe. Ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe. God bless. We'll see you on the next one.